Well, we're in Essex, going to Chelmsford for the Essex car meet. So let's see what happens because uh, there's also a marathon or a half marathon on in the immediate area of the car meet. So I think this is all the traffic for the marathon. Why are you running? However, this looks like the entrance to a car meet. There's a yellow Focus RS pulling in front. Hello. Morning. I've been informed to park right at the front. I like that. But a variety of cars are turning up, so whilst they do that, so I'm going to go up this road. I mean, they're coming in from all directions. Ah, I reckon there might be another section that's around the back, so I've been seeing a lot of cars going down there. That's where Ferrari is, so maybe McLaren is invading Ferrari. But the next car to enter the non-supercar section is... S14 and, and, and the micro behind. And next again for the non-supercar section, whilst they do fit in to supercar meets, it's not really a supercar. Let me know in the comments what do you think? Is a Nissan GTR a supercar? How about this one? A full carbon wide body Nissan GTR cannot spoiler deep disc wheels on the rear too. Adam Seafest. Adam Seafest is back this year on the 27th of May. All details are in the video's description. We've now got the Ferrari F12 Bertonetta heading into the supercar section, which we'll have a look at in a bit. But surely this new 992 GT3 will be directed into the supercar section. Look at that colour. It kind of matches the knobbly floor a little bit. Platinum. Platinum GT3. The marathon chaps are here with the Essex car meet chap. They are closing the roads in the area at 9 o'clock, which is coming up in about 15 minutes. M3 is going into the car meet. Most of the cars are coming from that direction. I'm going to head there to the entrance and oh, there's an Evo. I think it's a 8. Can't tell. Something's coming. Oh, no, no. Okay, right. We have, wait for it. You're going to like it. Everyone loves them. We're not like a chaser, but look, an R34. This sounds pretty impressive. An R34 GTT, we've got carbon fiber arches, but all of the crowd seem to be awaiting in the congregation spot of the general parking. And here is the Evo I spotted earlier, Mitsubishi Evo 8 and the R34 GTT both heading in together. A bit of JDM goodness with my chaser beyond the gates. Check out the little Fiat 126 rolling in with color coded wheels and white walls and some stickers that say. Oh, we've got a pair of S. Scott Cosworth's rolling in with a modified 370Z. Oh, there's a colourful ice cream van. Joe's Whippy is on the move, as is the 430. Blue with tan interior. And whilst Joe's Whippy negotiates the SV, he's pulling into the Super Bowl. Oh, it's the... I mean, it's not quite a Super Bowl. Oh, my God. That's a lot of green. Um, check out this Golf. Not only does it have the green LEDs, but even the wipers have green on. I wonder what his favorite color is. That's incredible. Oh, I can hear a supercharger. Oh, it's maybe the Lotus Exige S over there. Um, well, back to the green color. We've got green diffuser on the back of it. Wow, Golf R400, presuming it's got 400 brake horsepower and Prius repellent. Oh, it seems the supercar section has uh, turned away the starlet. But before we look around, oh, bird dirt, didn't notice that. Just got a bit of an unboxing to do. It is an early one today. I need breakfast. And Y Food have sponsored this video with a new flavor. Let the show begin. So as you know, Y Food is a convenient meal for when you're on the go. And I've got to show you this. This is what I've been presented with. It's quiz time. So this is a new flavor, caramel popcorn. And look, we have a scented candle. So as soon as I open this box, I can smell the flavor of the Y Food. So this drink fills you up for between three to five hours and is the most convenient way of getting breakfast, lunch, or dinner with all the vitamins and minerals that you need for a full meal. I just want to see what these are. Guess the movie. Boats, dancing, ice, cold, 
it's Titanic, isn't it? If I had a lighter, I'd probably light that and just plonk it there. Why if you are always bringing out new flavors, and if you want to try the caramel popcorn flavor, use my link below and use my discount code of Adam hyphen YouTube to get 10% off. <sighs> Yes. But whilst the last few enter the meet, I want to have a look at the supercar section, see what's there, because I haven't seen much of it. Then we can look around the golfs. So I believe these supercars are in the Porsche center. Oh, yes, that is correct. We have the SF90 rolling in. Welcome, the supercars, the Porsche center, the Ferrari center, and the Vauxhall van. The SF90 has joined the central trio, the 458 and the Aventador SV next door. And the Porsche center has presented their 911 Safari, white wheel in the world in martini colors right at the front but out of this entire car park and all of these supercars and close to supercars the thing that's caught my attention the most is this number plate not only is he oh too sexy but he has been drinking protein shakes boys in their cars girls in their battery operated rabbits but we're heading back into the main car park Porsches are still arriving and the runners have begun so we will begin as the pair of escort Cosworths because I want to get your opinion once again which do you prefer with the classic wing or without of course i prefer it with the wing and i'd imagine most of you do but it's refreshing to see a version of the cosa with the carbon lip rather than i can't remember the proper name of this but rather than that and look it's a good job all the cars are in now because the runners are running past the entrance and also exit of this car meet so we're back at the 126 with the gtr behind quite a disproportionate combo of widths we're now inspecting the diffuser on the back of the Mini and the Mallard inside the i30N. Oh, <laughs> we've got the wild crowd applauding the runners. They're really getting into this. Oh my God, you got the original Cayman but with Cayman GT4 bumpers and wing on it. I'll have to look at that because it's gone this way. So whilst there's not much room for the Mustang to get in, Let's go find the Cayman. This is the original generation of Porsche Cayman, but it has a GT4, which is the later version, front bumpers, and the bonnet resembles that of the Cayman GT4 RS as well. We also have a GT4 spoiler on the back of it, and it's finished in a gorgeous shade of green with bronze wheels and tinted rear lights. This place is a bit of a hub for car dealerships. You've got Honda, you've got Mazda, you've got Volvo, and I've been told to go look at Volvo. Bear with me. Inside the Volvo dealership, is an S60 touring car. And outside, cars are leaving. <laughs> it's slippery underfoot. I think the runners have stopped their running, so we should be clear for departures. So we arrive back at where we begun as cars start rolling out. We've got the bronze M4 first to depart. Snappy and crackly. Megane RS as well. Not as snappy or crackly as the uh, BMW. We've also got the boosted Fiesta. M3 is leaving. Ooh, traction did its job there. It's mostly German whips leaving so far. E92 and the E60 M5. Beautiful. But towards the end of the German whips, you've got a Seconds, not many others did, but the van cut him up. A110 is being silent, and the up GTI isn't. Mm. Oh, sorry, I was fixated on the V8 Jag. We have another E92 M3, and another Shelby Mustang as well. Supra and the modified Golf is leaving. I wonder how many green parts are on that car. Incredible. V6 F type, M6 afterwards, and McGann RS. Escort Cosset is next. to hit boost. Next up the RX-8 and the Starlet with the 350Z coming up the rear as well. Got the Hyundai i30 
30 in with his mallard. There goes the duck. All the noises are occurring now. We've got revolutions, accelerations, and the Renault that isn't leaving even though the road's clear. Is he questioning it or does he have 900? Yeah, there's, there's definitely potential that has 900 horsepower. You can hear the turbos whistling away. There goes the Jag. And the M2 something I. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe it's the, oh, it must be for the Volvo dealership. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. I was actually, look, he's waving at the camera. Genuinely, I was just thinking, I wonder if the police will turn up here today. Because last time he did a few um, pulls of some of the cars, and it might be the same one. Oh no, that was unmarked last time, wasn't it? That's definitely marked. Someone's doing launch controls in the background. Now, do you think the S14 will spot the police? Or are the police going after him already, preempting what's about to happen? Or what's about to not happen? Yeah, he definitely spotted him. He was looking. <laughs> Chaser another time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they want to catch my chaser. <laughs> Just thinking, when they said catch my chaser, do, do they mean like to chase it down, to chase the chaser and catch it, or catch it to look at it? I think they might have wanted to look at it, like catch it to look at it. Um, anyway, S14, another one. Oh, traffic. Now it's time for another M1 something I. from the C63. Oh, I can taste the fumes. Is that meant to say forged or frog? I think it's forged. That's frog. Oh, people are running. There is movement. Maybe a bit of a convoy of cars are leaving. The RS6 is the next one, but maybe quite a few more. That was quite close to the curb, sir. Boofy. The Peugeot's being kind and letting the 997 out. She just went into the road. Yeah, hello. Noisy. It wasn't that loud. Oh, the Fisker. Someone's bought one. The Fisker Ocean. Is it an ocean? It's definitely an ocean here. Oh, now we have evidence of the activity and the hustle and bustle of the crowds because the full carbon GCR is leaving. I love the flames. Audi Motorsport livery, weathered effects on the RS3. The Exige with a cat on the dashboard. Ooh, quite a bit of power on that. Let's see if we can hear it go back down the main road. Oh, Creating understeer. Ooh. Got the final S14 of the day. That sounded great. Oh, yes. Ram, bam, bam. It's from the driver of the Chevy. Also, big 
big fan of the colour on this M5, F9C. Cruising slowly. And go. Oh no, he's got it. <laughs> Number plate was mate, you ho. And a four series making all the noise. <laughs> this is loud apparently. <laughs> Correct. Get a wiggle. Joe's Whippy is playing the tunes and the Mustangs arrived as well. Gepio is following behind. The exhaust was a bit wiggly. Right, I think that might be the majority. Let's see what's going on elsewhere. Let's see what ah right. Oh the Evo has begun. No, we're gonna we're gonna go back again. Yeah. He's going. He's going, he's going. So we're waiting for an Evo, then we'll go over to the other side. Supercars. Oh look, it's MS Mrs. 58 Goo and Mrs. 54 Goo. Oh, Mrs. was loud. What about Gisses? Gisses wasn't as loud. Come on. Oh, that's Evo. Oh, nasty. Let's go uh, to the supercars. DC5 started up, but not too much else is left. And SLS is manoeuvring for the photographers. And the rest of the car park is relatively bare. More green lights this time on an M4. So we've ended up with an SLS photo shoot. Wings up. I think the V12 Vantage is joining in as well. Or departing. F80 M3 is next up the slip road. going that slowly. But I think it's now time to head inside Porsche because I think all of the cars inside that arrived this morning are about to leave. So let's go. So many iterations of GT3s, 2s and RSs side making a lot of noise leaving together quite the convoy let's go see what happens we're getting them all lined up together for photos before they all depart quite the collection of limited run and track versions of the Porsche 911 so we start with the GT2 RS Visac package 991.2 generation then we have the 992 GT3 RS Next up, the 911 Sport Classic 992, and then the 991 GT3 RS. Aero discs on the back of it. 997 GT3 RS 4 litre. And the Voodoo Blue 911 GT3 RS 991. And a 488 at the back. There's a few more Porsches. Here he comes, bit of slip. Turbo. And we've got the Lava Orange 991 GT3 RS next to appear. Calmly cruising past the people for all angles of the photography. And next, <laughs> we've got the noisy Shelby Mustang departing. Lovely GT3. Couldn't get any traction, photographers were in the way. Insane. He's returned and parking next to a friend. And after the thunderous roar of the Mustang's V8, we've got the V12 of the FF. <laughs> got in the way! <laughs> he, he, he's so sorry. <laughs> and from Ferrari, we go to Lamborghini with the Huracan.
C1 doing bits. Loving it. We've got the last few leaving now. Red Mustang, the white GT350 is also leaving. Yep. Perfect time for drift. <laughs> she says it will be snaking everywhere. And time for the shell. Snaking everywhere. Pretty much that for the Essex car meets. Adam Seafest is on the 27th of May. As I said, there's links down below along with the links to the Y Food caramel popcorn flavor. We're going to head in the chaser and do some changes to it. So make sure you're subscribed to uh, be notified for when that video goes live because big things coming, etc. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching.